Alright guys, what's going on? Linky here, and today's spooky, spectacular Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl video, we are going to be discussing some really scary Halloween-themed teammates that you can add to your journey in Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. We're going to be going through some Ghost-type Pokemon, some Dark-type Pokemon, and maybe some Wild Cards that you could use from the Sinnoh region on your adventure next month in the upcoming Sinnoh remakes. So with that being said, let's jump straight into the video. Now, the first Pokemon that we're going to be covering for this list is the one and only Frostlass. Now, Frostlass is an ice and ghost type Pokemon, and the reason it makes this list, one, because it's got a pretty interesting and cool typing, but two is what its Pokedex entries say. Now, this entry is from Pokemon Y, and it says legends in snowy regions, so it was one of those, say that a woman who was lost on an icy mountain was reborn as a Frostlass. That is some horror movie stuff right there. Frostlass is literally a Pokemon that's created when a human being dies in the snow, in a blizzard, in a mountainous region, and it, its spirit becomes this Pokemon. Frostlass, on top of having a really cool Pokedex entry, has a great design. It is so original, and it's a split evolution from Snowrun. So when Snowrun evolves, you can either get a Frostlass or you can get a Glalie. Pokemon Pokedex entries are so interesting when you mix together gameplay mechanics with them because how a snow runt can evolve into a Frostlass, while this lore of how Frostlass came to be is also true, is really interesting. That's why Frostlass is on this list, and that's why I might use one in Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, and I think you should as well. It is perfect for the Halloween season and for this snowy region that is Sinnoh. One of the awesome things that the Sinnoh region introduced when it first came out was evolutions for Pokemon that didn't previously have them. And this next Pokemon, which is on the thumbnail with Frostlass, is Dusknoir. Dusknoir is an evolution of Dusclops. You can get it by trading with the Reaper Cloth, I believe. Yes, that is correct. And again, it's spooky, but it's not a menace. It's not a Pokemon that's going to cause harm to you. Now, if you're playing Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, uh, that's a little bit different because in those games, uh, specifically Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Time, Darkness, and Sky, Spoiler alert, if you have not played those games, Dusk Noir is a villain working for Primal Dialga in those games. But in Pokemon Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum, and in Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, the mainline games, he is more of a helpful spirit. And his Pokedex entries from Black, White, and Black 2 and White 2 state that very clearly. In them, they say that Dusk Noir is said to take lost spirits into its pliant body and guide them home. So if you were to have, let's use a fun scenario, a person who dies in the snowy mountains of Sinnoh, if their spirit is saved by Dusknoir and brought to its resting place, they might not become a Frostlass. Look at that, connecting two different Pokemon. Dusknoir, on top of being a really powerful and bulky evolution in Sinnoh, is one that I don't see a lot of people use. And I want to bring light to him because I think Ghost-type Pokemon just as a whole are underappreciated because of their lore implications and because of some of the, the gameplay mechanics and attacks that they get in game. So if you're going to be playing through Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, I would highly recommend adding a Dusk Noir to your team. Now, before we go any further, I just wanted to mention that the vast majority of you guys who are watching these videos aren't subscribed to the channel now. Of course, subscribing is free. You can unsubscribe at any time, and it'll just show me that you guys are excited for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl next month, and that you want to see more videos like this in the future. So with that being said, let's jump right back into things. Now, depending on which Pokedex entries you choose to read and you choose to believe, this next Pokemon is either a playful spirit that kind of just messes with kids, or it quite literally steals children. Uh, that is a ghost and flying type Pokemon, Drifloon. Now, Drifloon is a Pokemon originated in Gen 2, Gen 2, Gen 4. It evolves into Drifblim at level 28. And this Pokemon can be found at the Valley Windworks. It has a special, a special feature where if you go to the Valley Windworks on a Friday, you can encounter Drifloon out in the overworld and you can battle him and catch him. And it's just an overall really cool Pokemon. It's a really cool concept. It has a great design. It can be really bulky once you get it to be a Drifblim. But its Pokedex entries, uh, in some of them, you know, in the original Diamond and Pearl ones, 
it seems like it's more happy. Heart Gold and Soul Silver kind of turn it up a little bit, where it says, It is whispered that any child who takes Drifloon for a balloon and holds on to it could wind up missing. So whether or not Drifloon is intentionally trying to make kids go missing, make kids become separated from their parents, that is what seems to have happened at some point in history, at least to the point where the Pokedex chooses to make this a pertinent part of its information to the trainer on Drifloon. So if you have kids in the Pokemon world, maybe don't let them go hang out with the balloon Pokemon. It's not a real balloon. It's a living organism. I would just kind of avoid touching him. That would probably make your Halloween weekend a lot more enjoyable, if, you know, if you didn't lose your child. So the next Pokemon on our list is probably the most well-known of any of the ghost-type Pokemon in the Sinnoh region, and that is Spiritomb. He is a ghost dark-type Pokemon, and his lore is probably something that we're going to get information on in the upcoming game Legends Arceus as well. Now, in the original Pokedex entries, it states that Spiritomb was locked away in the hollowed tower. It is constant for its mischief and its misdeeds, and it resulted in it being bound to an odd keystone by a mysterious spell. This was said to have happened 500 years ago, uniting 108 spirits to lock Spiritomb away so it could no longer harm the people who lived in Sinnoh, or Sinnoh at the time, which was Hisui. Now, I have a whole video that's going to be coming out later this week talking about how Spiritomb could be connected to some of the lore implications in Legends Arceus and how maybe if we're lucky, we'll actually be able to be the ones to seal Spiritomb in the odd keystone. Of course, that is a lot of speculation and we're going to cover that more in the upcoming video, but Spiritomb is a Pokemon that you face on Cynthia's team and ultimately, if you can do the underground features which eventually allow you to unlock Spiritomb, it's a Pokemon that will be really good and has a great type effectiveness against any Pokemon you might be facing in your journey in Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Now, the final Pokemon that we're going to be looking at for this list is Miss Magius. Miss Magius, like Dusknoir, was an evolution added in Pokemon Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum from Mischievous. It evolves with a stone. It's a stone evolution. You just have to give it to it to evolve the Pokemon. And the Pokedex entry that we're going to be reading from, they're similar across all gens, but I want to focus on how it's worded in Generation 7. Sun, Moon, Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. And I'm going to read two specific instances of this one. First is in Moon, and it states, Miss Magius had been known to cast spells to make people fall in love. So some people search for this Pokemon as if their life depended on it. Now the next one is from Ultra Moon. In it, the Pokedex states, Its muttered curses can cause awful headaches or terrifying visions that torment others. This Pokemon, apparently, according to the Pokedex, can either bring love or massive headaches. And I know this isn't a February, you know, Valentine's Day video, but maybe it just goes to show you that love ultimately is a headache, and Miss Magius brings both the dread and happiness that love can ultimately provide for you and your partner. I know, lovely, isn't it? Courtesy of the Sinnoh region courtesy of Alola's Pokedex. And that is going to do it. These are five Pokemon that I would highly recommend you use on your BDSP team if you want a little Halloween spooky vibes going. These are all Pokedex entries and fun bits of lore from the Pokemon world. Number six on your team is going to be your starter, so pick whichever you like. And let me know, are you going to use any of these ghost types and dark type Pokemon on your Pokemon journey with the upcoming remakes, Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl? I think I'm going to pick maybe one of them to use, and I'll reveal that in a team video that's going to be coming out in a couple of weeks. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys are looking forward to the next spooky Halloween themed video that's going to be coming this week on the channel. And as I mentioned before, if you're not subscribed to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. It does a ton to show me that you're enjoying these videos and that you want to see more. I've been Linky and we'll see you all in the next video. Peace out.